I'm on it, on it, I'm, I'm on it, on yeah. it, I'm, I'm on, on the street, street boy beats. <laughs> I'm, I'm yeah. on it, on it, I told y'all niggas y'all ain't ready, it, man. We it, can't be stopped. I'm on the strip. Shit, I want to ask you some other shit, some personal shit. All right, let's get it. How I'm do you feel? <laughs> how do you feel about Black China getting her, her implants taken out? I don't know why that's a fucking story, <laughs> but. <laughs> Like, Black China, she's 34 years old. Yeah. At least she's trying to um, change her life around. Because I'm not going to lie. We live in a world right now where, particularly as black people, there is no accountability for black women. I'm just going to say it. Like, like w there are so many 40-year-olds. <laughs> With fucking only fans, <laughs> that is goddamn ridiculous. Like, baby girl, put your clothes on. It's your daughter's time to be a hoe now. Right. Okay, that's true. No man, like everybody had a whole phase. I had my whole phase. Everybody had a whole phase. Right. But it's your daughter's turn to be a hoe now. Like, put your goddamn clothes on. Be respectable. Get your shit together. Like, it's it's, it's, it's ridiculous. Job, that was real nigga shit right there, cause. Um, I got a woman, so I ain't worried about like when oh, you, you say, say shit, that shit. Yeah. yeah, when you said it like that, right? Yeah, um, that was real shit because I I remember posting some shit like, "Would you old ass bitches stop t sticking your tongue out?" Uh, that ain't that don't look <laughs> sexy. That at ain't all. sexy at all. Because just, just, just like niggas putting their middle fingers up in, yeah, like, like nigga, you forty five years old, nigga. If you don't put that, if you don't put a suit on and shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> and my mom, bro, my mom, bro, like, Robert, you always talking shit. I said, nigga, I'm not talking shit. I'm just shining light on the situation. I just think that at this point, you should be a little classier than you was at 25. Exactly. Because like, you we, don't look sexy enough to stick that motherfucking tongue out. We got you. too many people in our community on both sides, men and women, yeah. that just refuse to let their childhood go. Like, it's time to let that shit go. Mm -hmm. Like, it's okay to be young and dumb. But if you're 40 years old, hell, we got some niggas that's damn near 50. Like, I'm not even going to just put it all on the females. We right. got niggas that's damn near 50. Right. That's out here, or 50 plus, out here living like they was in their 20s. Like, you're not supposed to be doing that shit, right. my nigga. Like, you're supposed, to, advance, you're supposed right. to advance. You're supposed to be a role model. You're supposed to be like, yo, I did this, that, and the third when I was younger. But it's a lot of these motherfuckers that wasn't doing that shit when they was younger. That's trying to portray some shit now and trying to be cool. And it's like, that's just yeah. not cool at your fucking age. That's a regurgitated hey, action. Is another one of them over there? That's a regurgitated action anyway, because that's the same thing. That's how I have to be like, that's how you know you get old when you start to think like that. Because that's the way our parents felt about. Like, my daughter, my, my sister wasn't allowed to put their hand on their hip. You know what I'm saying? Your hand on your sit when you take a picture, that'll get your yeah, shit right. smacked. Get the fuck, yo, you think you've grown? You know what I'm saying? So. It's always gonna be like that. You know what I'm saying? Money, money. And when these little girls, when they get older, they gonna sound just like us. Yeah. Yeah. So that means you gotta be taking the fun out of them or their generation or whatever. Yeah. Cause I be trying, I try to roll your eyes. <laughs> it's funny, you know I me, mean? because I've become an older motherfucker. Stop it. God damn it, the motherfuckers out there hanging on Miss Johnson's stoop. Boy, get your eyes out. You know what I mean? Like it just shit be getting on my nerves now. And it'd be like, but you know, I'd be thinking like I did. I'd be think I think how dare that you I was thugging do the respectfully. Same I, used to do. Yeah. I was thugging respectfully. <laughs> but you Not respectfully. You offended many, many adults. You offended. <laughs> I thought I was thugging respectfully, but in reality, when you look back, like oh, I did, I was doing that shit. That yeah. get your yeah. ass away from here. But I was doing that shit too, like you know. Sometimes I, you know what somebody's gonna do before they do it because you did it. Yeah. yeah. Don't touch my to car either. I try to get preventive measures. And if you can learn from a motherfucker that already did the shit, that's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to learn from a motherfucker that already did the shit. Right. So you ain't gotta go through the like what what Jay Z said. Hope did that, so hopefully you don't have to go through that. And that's what Playboy said. But we and I, and that's how I try to give jewels because a lot of dudes, um, this generation, they be like, man, you old, nigga, you don't know what you're talking about. Nigga, I'm old. I do know what I'm talking about. I you made, made it past your age twice, nigga. You, you made, made it. it. Yeah. You made it. Yeah. You made it. You made it past that shit. 
As he also advertises, call right now. You know, oh, they, oh, they might be trying to get. They might be trying to get the tickets. I said, tap in. They might be trying to get the tickets. Tap in, cause sporadically you can get what you want. What's up, Kim McPhee? Right here. Look, right right here. don't push it up, but put it up in the ah, ticket table for four, y'all. Table for four. Bring your baby daddy, her, his girlfriend, yeah. all that shit. Papa. <laughs> You don't call no oh, goddamn no. problem. You're going to get put out. <laughs> so, uh, man, in your journey in comedy, what are some of the uh, things you learned along the way? Like, don't do this. You know what I mean? Like, I you just spoke about, like, what you do, like, creating jokes and stuff like that. But, like, um, what are some of the things, like, you just learned, like, you know, don't do this, don't do that, like. To make it a better situation for you. <laughs> Don't feel good about yourself. <laughs> um, nah, I mean, when it, when it comes to comedy, I mean, for the most part, man, um, it's a freeing experience. If I can tell any aspiring comedians, people that want to do comedy, yeah, man, just be yourself. Just be yourself. Just be real. And, and just keep working, man. People are always going to gravitate towards the real um, don't take this shit for granted. Don't take this shit for granted. Because at any given time, shit can change. And people may be feeling you when you first, like the, the best time for you when you do comedy, the most you're going to be able to capitalize is when you first start. But the, the, the key is, how are you going to keep that shit going? Because like, it'll be four years for me and I've been keeping my shit going since the beginning. And I've seen many people come along and fizzle out. Like, how are you going to keep that shit going? So, what like, don't get to, don't do, don't get, the, my biggest thing, like, to answer your question, don't get too full of yourself. Yeah. Keep working. Keep grinding. Because being the funniest at an open mic or a local show is not the fucking goal. Right. The goal is you're not going to know that you're really funny until you go somewhere out of town where nobody fucking knows you. It's easy to be funny in front of your family and friends. Right, right. It's yeah. easy to do that Cause shit. Cause they light on you. Exactly. Well, my family ain't light on me, like I said. Well, I'm Mine ain't either, but, I, but they <laughs> lighter than another motherfucker like Cause hey, some people like, I know some niggas that are trash. <laughs> Roast show <ass. laughs> I know some niggas that are trash. And they family be like, oh, like, go ahead. Good that. part, and nigga. Be, and, be, and be hyping they asses yeah. up. I know some niggas that are trash and they family. Have My family not like that. My uncle told me, you got some new jokes, nigga? I'm like, yes, I do. <laughs> Here, buy a ticket. And they won't fuck with me. but I, and, I, and, and I love that because it keeps the fire going inside of me. But um, the main thing is never, never get satisfied, man. Keep growing. Keep pushing the envelope. Come keep in, bro. working. Come in, bro. Tied to the outside. That's dope. You know what I mean? Because I always want to know shit like that about... Because like I said, I've always looked at myself as a, a lightweight comedian, but I ain't never... I've never wanted to be a comedian on on the stage. Paul Clark, we have over here an aspiring comedian. Mm -hmm. And um, that, we, we ask a question. That's why Playboy getting into you. Like, so you said, what? You know what I mean? To, uh, for him to talk shit to Paul Clark... I, my thing is, everything you keep saying to me is like me when I was a kid um, coming up, like, battling niggas in rap. Mm -hmm. And how it's the same, it's the same shit almost. Like, you want the same. It's the same skill set. Yeah, almost. Like, it's comedy, like when kinda, be dope comedy, is actually, comedy is actually easier than, than rapping because you ain't got to make it rhyme. Right. It's the same skill set. It's all about timing, delivery, and what you're saying. But you don't have to make it rhyme. Right. But you gotta be real, and you gotta put the work. Right. You gotta substitute rhyme for funny. You know what I'm saying? And a rapper, you better make it rhyme. It's but it's still punchlines. Yeah. Like it's still punchlines. It's funny punchlines right. versus 
a punchline that just making me like, ooh, that nigga hard. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's the same skill set. That's why um, you got several, you know what I'm saying, people that come from rap switching over to comedy and they're being successful. You talk to yourself? Yeah, all the fucking time. I do. All because I, because, because because I need an expert opinion. I need an expert fucking opinion. I think geniuses do that. When, when people walk into the room while you're talking to yourself, do you hush it up like... You doing something else? I, I, I make sure people not around me. Because yeah. <laughs> the motherfuckers say you crazy when you answer yourself, but who? If you think if you're the smartest motherfucker in the room, who else gonna answer you? Exactly. You gonna answer? Yeah, I talk exactly. to myself and I answer myself. I talk, I have by my, I call them by myself meetings. I do it at least twice a day. Yeah, you gotta have a meeting <laughs> with yourself. Oh, you look, criminal lord. Hey, this nigga over here. I know he have his by himself meetings. Oh, right. yeah, all the time. Yeah, and give me one of those. What's that? You know what I want. Lord, Lord. It's criminal, Lord, my Lord. <laughs> See that British accent? Right. The originator See, of that British, shit. Right? He has a British accent. Yeah, he the only, he got it. That ain't even British. That's what, Scotland? Mm -hmm. His is old 20 seconds. Is it Scotland or, or, or Criminal British? Criminal, my Lord. Lord. <laughs> more British. Well, yeah. We don't care, but because yeah. we just going to drink on it. Yeah. We gotta buy, you got a bottle for me, man? I can pop up real quick. Come on, man. Quit with it. Don't be bullshit with us. Man. Hey, and that blue azul coming soon. For my girl, Linda Danielle. Yeah, Linda the official, Danielle. the official wine to Jake Brock. God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> I gotta plug my girl shit and shit with my Jay ass Brock when I get home. <laughs> so you gonna say Jake Brock presents or? <laughs> it's the official drink of Jake Brock. God damn it! It's that Brock juice. Pull up in that motherfucker truck. Blue Azul. Now she ain't gonna pull my ass, man. But that's I got a Azul. Right I'm, just I'm just talking shit. I can't believe somebody doing this again. They they trying to get That's the tickets. They, they, they trying to get the tickets. They trying to get the tickets. They trying to get the tickets. That's my baby girl. That's they my. They telling people they we got the tickets. Hell on. no, oh, baby man. girl. She the only one thing she can bow And, 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 and this ain't this ain't the shit y'all hearing today. This ain't shit compared to what I'm gonna talk at the Funny Bone <laughs> on April 20th, 420. We went all the smoke. Show start at 7:30. We hope. <laughs> hey, shout out to Troy Smith, Wednesday Night Jokes, Michelle Williams, and my man, my man Cab. The Wednesday Night Jokes teams, man, they put more local comedians on a show for a show on that Funny Bone stage than anybody else Darren in the city. What's up, bro? You feel me? I got one open for you already. Oh, you already got one open for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put it in the camera. 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 Petty pairs. Oh, oh. Petty pairs. Petty pairs. Yeah, yeah. Petty pairs. Hey, hey, hey. Hold them on the backside, too. On the backside, too. Got my man hitting the lunge. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, Petty pairs. No, 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 no. That's my man. I'm talking about the camera. That's my man's right there. That's my man's right there. Petty pairs. Deacon Patty, he gonna be on the show. Oh, let me see that. 420. Right. He gonna be on the show this 420. This one already open. This one already open. Is this shit? Uh, yeah, yeah, what, yeah, what, are, what are we drinking? What is that called again? Oh, shit, man. By who? Deacon Usually Patty. Deacon Usually Patty. Come on, you're gonna act like he he. It, but no, that's, that's his brother. Yeah, yeah, that's his brother. That's his brother right there. Yeah, they ain't gonna be trying to keep low key and shit. That's my nigga, too. Nigga punched me in my shit one time, but he cool, though. That's my nigga, though. That's my nigga though. I don't give a fuck. Nigga hit like a bitch. Um, <laughs> that's my nigga though, man. You know niggas go through shit. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, y'all can, y'all can have about that. Damn, nigga, I need another cup, nigga. This is a kilo right here. Can you give me another cup? Yeah, him? Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, bro. Hey, shout out to my nigga Diggin' Usually Patty. Yeah, right? I talked about that shit. I'm gonna get your ass back. You're alright. Already told you. That's my nigga right there. That's my nigga right there. That's my nigga right there, man. We do that shit. So, bro, um, moving forward with, with, with the uh, comedy shit, man, because your craft is amazing to me. Yeah, let me try Let me try this deacon shit out. Bro, we're going to do Petty Pear. I want some Petty Pear right there. You don't mind coming? I don't mind coming. I don't mind coming. You know Petty Pear? Shout out to my man, Deacon Usually Petty. Hey, we're on the show. Take a sip of it, then make a, for, for, then make a jack with it. Yeah, yeah, go ahead, go ahead, get you some too, man. Get some of that vegan patty right there, the patty pear. It's like a Pinot Grigio. And we got that, we got, like. we got that coming. It's like a Pinot Grigio like type shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is the first time I ever say, damn, nigga, you taste good. <laughs> right. First time I ever say that in life, nigga. That yeah, nigga tastes good, dude. Hey, nigga, you doing your motherfucking thing, nigga. That's my nigga, though. 
We just did a show at the Sun. Hey, make sure y'all fuck with Silly Saturdays at the fucking Saber. My nigga Deacon, uh, usually Petty, he hosts that shit. Hey, this is my shit right here. Hey, th hey, Deacon, you got some good shit, nigga. I ain't gonna hug. Lie. So, hey. bro, is it hard? I, I, wish I, I wish I had my girl shit in here, man. That motherfucking Blue Azul hit, too. I'm trying to tell y'all. So hit me up, man. Cause we connected now, bro. I'm coming back. I'm coming back. We connected now. Yeah, I'm coming back. It's springtime, nigga. You gonna be back for no reason, just cause? Cause but you got no, some shit happening. No reason. I don't give a shit. Uh, boy, I see. Boy, what you about to ask me? I know we just talking shit now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. But uh, so um, <laughs> <laughs> this is what happens when you get me on here, nigga. I'm kicking. I'm uh, kicking. I'm talking that shit. What is it like? Um, like right now, y'all got a line and shit pop. Mm -hmm. Is it is that a hard task or you know what I mean? Like, is it, do that come? Is that do the do the game become easier because you linking up with veterans or you know what I mean? Because you like a newbie, even though you've been in the four years. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm still a baby. Um, this is the thing. You know what they say? If you do what you love, you never work a day in your life. Like, um. I just love that I have people that are far up the food chain that have no business fucking with me. That fuck with me. I can call them at any given time and they say, hey, Jay, whatever you need, I got you. Whatever, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Um, shout out to all my mentors, Stephen G, B. Hard, Mark Gregory, Misha Swain. Misha Swain. Slaps at comedy, one of the best assets to a comedian in the city right now. You know what I'm saying? Shout out my man, Mr. C, out of Atlanta, Chris Ledbetter. Mm -hmm. Like, I have people that I can call at any given moment that when I call them, they're like, Jay, whatever you need, I got right. you. And it's just a beautiful thing. Like, I'm like, I know I talk a lot of shit, but at the end of the day, like, I'm so hard to shout out to my man, Troy Smith. Michelle Williams and my man Kev, Wednesday Night Jokes, that put me on at the Funny Bone. Shout out to my man Rhoda Realist. Shout out to Ro, my Ro, man. Ro, Ro, Ro. Shout out to my man Danger, David Smith. Shout out to JR Jr. You feel me? Like, when I got, you know what I'm saying, the amount of love that I got from people that's far up the food chain that I can just call at any given moment yeah. and they give me all kind of game, it's just a blessing to me and it really makes me humble. I know I talk a lot of shit, but. For real, for real. And shout out to my, my homegirl, Maria Cavallaro, out of Cincinnati. Shout out to my girl, Megan Hill, out in Canton, doing their thing. Like, mm -hmm. I got people that, I have a network of people that I can call at any given time. And they pick up my phone and answer my phone calls. And it's just a blessing. Bro, bro, because bro, because, they, because they, don't, they don't have to do that for me. Yeah. Shout out to my man, Mr. Bikey, out of Louisville, Kentucky. My man, Luther. My man, Jesse Johnson. My man, James Ferguson. Shout out to D'Amico uh, Henderson. He got the motherfucking uh, Uptown yeah, Comedy Corner in. down in uh, down in uh, Hayville, Georgia. Yeah. Shout out to my man uh, Cassius that got the spot down in Marietta, Georgia. Man, just everybody that's fucking with me, man. Shout out to them because they don't have to. Exactly. And I just appreciate that so much. Exactly. So so much. Y'all heard that? So Real so much. Shit. And anybody forgot? Shout out to you too, man. I'm just you know I'm sipping on all this shit. So I'm having a good time. Being a comedian on, on on what you doing, being a comedian, you know, we got... We, we Shout out to my man Bo at the Attic, too, man. That's my guy, man. Bo Stinger, man, down at the Attic. That's a new comedy club we got here in Columbus. Shout out to him, too, man. Um, Is that here in Columbus? Yeah, that's here in Columbus. They are upstairs at the Late Night Slice. That's on Oak oh, Street. okay, okay. And it's, and it's crazy too, cause Oak Street gentrified as fuck. Mm. My like my uncle got you killed. You have no idea what my I uncle, did. My uncle, uncle got Oak killed Street. on Oak Street, and it's gentrified in the motherfucker right now. My that old college crazy. roommate used to live on uh, Oak Street, and he used to uh, spray paint outside his apartment, and it was like uh, he lived up, it was like the stairs were at the side, but he used to spray paint cause we you know graffiti and shit. He used to spray paint the floor like right there in the ground mm -hmm. of the area. Yeah, right when you from his apartment. Like it's crazy. Like niggas used to sell dope on Oak Street, and now it's just to say said. It's just fight as fuck. It was already gentrified, <laughs> but that shit was going on because all them, all them um, high price houses 
were always still there. All yeah. those white people that own those houses. I got still I got family members that used to sell heroin on Oak Street. Right. <laughs> and you notice though, it got abandoned. Everything was boarded up. Nah, boarded not all the big ass houses. Down. Motherfuckers were still living in those though, bro. I'm talking about like by the yeah. time they said because they still got a, a black church that's on Oak yeah. Street. Like, that was know, my that, grandma. That, we grew up in that church. Yeah. That's my grandma. And they, they, they trying to buy that shit too. Yeah. They trying to buy that shit too. That was a great uh, job. Julian's dad there and is the uh, impact. Yeah, it it up. That that just I don't know the name really of the really church, but we grew me and my brother and my grandma. That was my grandmama church. It's, a, it's crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Us yeah. and all our cousins. It's crazy. Got so low. On Oak Street down there. It's crazy, yeah. uh, it's crazy what they do um, in that area. That it's on Oak Street, baby. Is that on Oak Street? The property value was so low, anybody really could have snatched it. Yeah. Over there, so bitches got them. They section eight. It's on yeah. Oak Street, they not down there where now. you live. That. But shout out to the attic. Uh, Both finger man. Uh, it's like they give it. They, away it is, from it is, it is, it is, it is. But they give it. They they give it comedians in the city a uh, different avenue outside of the funny bone yeah. to be able to perform and shit. Oh, um, it's crazy because with Columbus being the capital city of Ohio, there's only so many big stages in Columbus and they came along they doing their thing and I'm there April 30th if you can't catch me at the funny bone on there. April 20th you can catch me there you can go to the website the attic comedy club.com the blue boy entertainment showcase is BBE showcase I'm on that with sister Lou danger tank with a C from Cleveland my man Britton Grace but uh, we doing it there but like I said we got this motherfucking ticket right here hundred dollar ticket Whoever, all you gotta do is say something about what we doing. Say something, come get it, come get it, come get say it. Say something about what we doing. When the raw opinion come in, and you got a good raw opinion, you can win that ticket. And don't right call. You, you can call my phone. Yeah, call one phone. You can't call mine. Yeah. If you, you got the number, if you got my number. <laughs> but you ain't got call, but you can talk with it. For the nigga though, my girl, that that my girl don't play that shit. My girl don't play that shit. If you, if you can make it, I ain't gonna do that because we have motherfucking hundred cars outside talking about. Yeah, pull up, pull up. We got the audience, nigga. So, as, like I was gonna say, as a comedian, uh, what is your in, what is your take on the Jonathan Major Jonathan Major situation? Oh, man, the same thing my mama was telling me. Man, that's what you get fucked with the white bitches. <laughs> it's what it is. Right. Um, Some races. It is what it is. <laughs> it, is. it is what it is. Um, nah, but uh, all just aside, that was a joke. Um, yeah. Anytime a black man is successful in entertainment in Hollywood, there has to be some dirt on him. It has it's happened to everybody. Like I'm not like being a conspiracy theory here. Like we have the evidence and the research to prove this shit. This man had the two top selling movies of the year back to back weekends. Definitely did that. Back to back weekends. Now, whatever he did um, beforehand, um, like he was doing his thing and building up. Oh, shit, my girl calling me right now. I got to ah, tell me to shut the fuck yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I ain't got enough in me. I'm going to talk my shit. I don't care. They can't cancel me as they do. Bitch, I'll drive my truck and I'll be okay. <laughs> I don't need this comedy shit. Um, you need it. It's all good. You no, 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 no. I don't need it. What um, kind of truck you got? Huh? Nah, I don't own my own show. I'm a company person. But they don't know I do none of this shit. Um, but like I was saying, uh, as far as Jonathan Majors, like, I hope it works out for him. He's a hell of a fucking actor. He is. Hell of a fucking actor. He's ugly. And then once he, he like, he awesome. hell of a fucking actor. And like I said, once he landed that Marvel role, he solidified. Like, literally, he's the next Thanos in Marvel. Kane yeah. the Conqueror ain't no bitch ass fucking villain in the Marvel universe, nah, even like, in the comics. Like he's stronger than they know. He's stronger than because he can control time. Yes. So I just hope, um, Quantum like, 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 like they said, um, they've been saying like every he's gonna be acquitted of everything. It's fucked up that he lost his endorsement with the army. Yeah. And that well, they put it on pause. They put yeah. it on pause. But anytime a black man is successful, that successful, that quick, <coughs> you're going to get some dirt on you. Which came from the lab, the movie first, the first yeah. movie. And you would think he already got his humili humiliation 
from the album to, from the magazine cover. But the nigga was did. wearing fucking berets and shit. You catch the nigga somewhere in the picture, he's like, nigga, yeah. now you talk, uh, 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 hello, you got gray boo ball. Nigga fucking knocked that fucking goofy off his head, bro. But hey, that nigga did his workout. Like that nigga made me get back in the gym from from fucking Creed. From fucking Creed. Oh my god! We going there? We going there? Oh my god! From Creed. Oh my, he made me get back in the gym, nigga. Oh my god! From Creed. Oh my, he made me get back in the gym, nigga. Yeah, the nigga is definitely back. Yeah, dope actor. And I hope it all works out for him. Inspires me as well. I hope it all works out for him. And just that third dog. And, 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 and let's be keeping real. Like, black women, y'all wasn't checking for Jonathan Majors. Y'all wasn't checking That's for That's why I said. Y'all wasn't he, checking for him. And then what he do? And they be like, oh, he fucking with a Just like, just like y'all wasn't like, checking for uh my man, uh, Childish Gambino. Y'all wasn't checking for him neither. Like, no. like, let, 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 nigga. Like, we ain't supposed to get no, like, if, let, nigga ain't supposed to get no pussy. Fuck when he was on like, the TV show, they was on it. They wasn't on him still. They wasn't. Like... You know what I'm saying? Like, like, let people live. Love is love. If we're going to accept, you know what I'm saying, homosexuality and everything else how we're supposed to, we should accept interracial relationships. Everybody should. Let people love who they love. Let people live how they live. And stop judging fucking people. So you saying that and not bring no more strength back to the black Community? I mean, I have a white woman. I have, no, no, I don't have a white woman. Hey, girl, I have a black, black woman. woman. No, I mean, fuck, I have, that's the key. No, I have a black woman at home. I'm not speaking on me. Me. No, no, I, I know you ain't me, got a black, me, black woman. Me, me, I have a black woman at home. I'm all, I'm, I raised my son. My son lived with me. <laughs> I'm all about the black community right. in my personal household. But anybody that's not, it's, that's their choice. Right. Just like if they want to, if a man wants to suck dick, that's his choice. If a woman wants to eat pussy, yeah. that's her choice. That's so, all. It. We shouldn't be judging people. So with that being said, with that kind of choice, before we go to pay a bill, with that being a choice, somebody said, um, with China taking her teeth out, she grew up a little bit. So if like how Dwayne Wade was about to let his son. Oh, that ain't no about. That's about to happen. That's about to happen. That's about to happen. He don't cut his meats off, right? Hey, that's on so him. I'm not cutting my is dick. Is that wrong or right? Should they say fuck that and let him be and wait until he's an adult? So you ought to say, you know, that's like taking away the way from strengthening the, you know what I'm saying, the black community. If they, if he was involved with a black girl, that wouldn't strengthen nor weaken it. You know what I'm saying? Like, your actions of a man or a woman just because you black, you know what I'm saying? That don't strengthen shit. That don't weaken shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, whoever you fuck with. Yeah, they still saying, got an Asian girl. Do they fuck with our community? It didn't fuck with it. It didn't raise it or lower it. That's yeah. judging right there when you do the opposite of that right there. I don't know. Hey, that's a. That, I'm just saying, far as Dwayne Wade, far as Dwayne Wade, son, right. that's a hell of a fucking decision. If you want to touch it, cut your dick off, I was a teenager. Yeah, that's on you. I wouldn't make that decision for him or let him make the decision at that age. But like, nigga, this gonna be your decision when you an adult, nigga. I'm not gonna do that for you. But I don't understand, like, in the the world we live in, as much. Technology and science we have. Why don't we have centers for people that want to cut off their dick and women that want to lose their vaginas? Why is there not a center for that? Like it should be like you know, like how they like have heart donor donors. I think if you did, you would have they should, that they, should, they should have general. They should have general donor centers. They're not ready for that. People will burn it down. They would beat on the people that. No, yeah, no, it would work. Like, I'm just saying that just makes more sense. Like, why do we not have? Genital donor centers. Genital donors. donors. Like yeah. you want to buy one? That, like, that's, that's that's that's. Yeah, like if if I have a dick and I want if I have a penis and I want a vagina and a woman has a vagina and she wants a penis, why shouldn't we be able if we match Trey, up? Let's Trey, talk about, why should we be able to match up? Trey. I've never thought of that. I've never. That, why should we have that? that? You said it, you like we have the shit. technology. The technology exists for us to do this. Why do we not have the centers for that? I think we, as a people, should just all get all together and just you know protest and all that. Because I think that should be the most important. I'm never thinking of that. I don't see how you came up with that right there. Like that's what we should oh, have. We want to pay you. Pay a bill. We can go back to it. We can go back to it. Like we have to take out the technology I know my exists. Rights, damn it. The technology, the technology is this. We should be able to go into centers 
<laughs> where if I don't want my uh, penis anymore, I should be able to donate it to somebody that has the same blood type as me, and she can give me her vagina and her uterus. Somebody, like, I want my penis, but I'm somebody. just saying, for somebody that does it, we should have that. That should be available for us. Yeah. We First have the all, technology. That would change the whole world, because number one, you would have to, if this is your business, I have to have insurance <laughs> for somebody's penis that I do incorrectly. So that would, what insurance is reliable that shit right there? It's so much shit. Go that goes into that. Of Mexico. Yeah, you gotta take, like, what are you doing in Mexico? That yeah. shit happened in America. We we condone the shit. I'm that's just saying. True. That's true. Ain't nobody putting up no fund me account for that shit. Don't we should. We should. It don't make no sense. Like, it's a bunch of people that. So you gonna wait for somebody else to do your idea? Cause you the first person to ever say this ever on the planet, ever. Hey, this is why I do comedy. <laughs> like, he waiting for a special crew of days to do his dream. Yeah, like it's, if. If I don't want my penis anymore, I should be if the blood type matches up. You'll do the commercial. I should be able to, and the person that doesn't want her vagina no more, we should be able to swap our shit out. So what would the commercial like you be about? The same machine at the same time. You you go in there just like just hearts. Like part, she go in there with her private part. Where, how would you do the commercial? Like, yeah. How would other people know that this is what you're doing? You gotta do a commercial. What's your ad gonna be like? You don't want your dick anymore? Call one nine hundred. Exactly. Hey, exactly. That? That's exactly how the commercial should go. I'm big bread. You got a commercial right now for a car? I don't I don't have a commercial on day. I don't. But I'm just saying as the idea. I'm not making that commercial. I'm as the idea. And action. As the idea, the we should have centers where people can do genital genital swaps. We should do that. That's the world we live in. It's the future. Like True. remember we thought the future was gonna be the Jetsons and jump. flying and flying cars and shit. No, the future is swapping out genitals. You want some on wing, don't you? Uh, huh? You want your own wing? No, I'm, I'm not a doctor. I, I love my dick. <laughs> no, um, I want something different. I mean, I want some some chicken from my famous kitchen when they know ingredients miss and list and I want yes. a brisket. brisket. I like my cornbread this thick. Yes. Pick up the phone, come get come this. Get they got the biggest right. sandwiches. Ha ha. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Is that macaroni and cheese up? Is that macaroni and cheese up? Is that macaroni and cheese up? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Famous kitchen. Tolerators, we got you. I'm on it, on it, I'm, I'm on it, on it, yeah. I'm, I'm on the street, boy beats. <laughs> I'm, yeah. I'm on it, on it, man, I told y'all niggas y'all ain't ready, it, man, we can't it, be stopped. On the strip, 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 str